Maxwell Chikambutso, a Zimbabwean inventor, has once again captured the world's attention with his astonishing claim of developing a self-powering vehicle that runs entirely on radio frequencies. If this breakthrough is indeed legitimate, it could revolutionize the transportation industry and redefine how humanity generates and consumes energy. Yet, despite the magnitude of such an advancement, the global scientific community's reaction has been muted, even dismissive. Outside of Zimbabwe and select African circles, Chikambuso's work has largely been met with skepticism rather than the acclaim one might expect. But that rejection has not stopped him. In a stunning turn of events, this brilliant African inventor has finally shown proof of this self-powering technology. In this video, you can hear him explaining how he invented a television that runs only on a microsonic energy device without needing a connection to any electrical outlet. Uh, this is our self-powered TV that we have uh, designed. The first in the world to have such kind of a technology where a television is powered with a radio frequency. So as you can see right now, I'm powering this television. Uh, so this is the first uh, television in the world that uses self power to say it is all in one you don't need to put it on electricity or on solar panel or anything as it is it is a complete solution behind the television you can see that there is a microsonic energy device this box this is the device that is converting radio frequencies into pure energy as you can see the power of the cable was supposed to be here on all traditional televisions power comes here but there's no power as you can see the television is it is working as it is so in layman i think this television is a we can call it a, a self-powered television but how does all of this work though the principle behind this technology is deeply intriguing according to chikambuso his invention operates through what he terms microsonic energy a concept that at its core builds on the dream of wireless energy transmission once envisioned by Nikola Tesla. Tesla, a pioneering figure in electrical engineering, believed that the Earth itself could be harnessed as a conduit to provide unlimited free electricity to the world. Chikambutso appears to have tapped into this very notion. His microsonic energy device, as he describes it, captures and converts atmospheric radio frequencies into usable electricity. If successfully applied to automobiles, this technology could entirely eliminate the need for fossil fuels or rechargeable batteries. The car, in theory, would continuously draw power from the surrounding environment, ensuring an endless energy supply. The implications of such an invention are nothing short of monumental. A world without gasoline-powered cars would mean the collapse of the global oil industry, a seismic shift in economic power, and the dawn of a new era of energy independence. Yet, these same implications are why some believe that the world is simply not ready or willing to accept such a radical departure from existing energy infrastructures. Critics argue that Chikambuso's claims contradict long-standing scientific principles, particularly the first law of thermodynamics, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only converted from one form to another. However, these are merely alleged claims as history has repeatedly shown that many groundbreaking discoveries initially faced resistance before eventually reshaping the world. Chikambuzo's journey to this point is remarkable. Unlike traditional inventors who emerge from prestigious universities with access to world-class laboratories, his knowledge is entirely self-taught. His fascination with electronics began in childhood when he tinkered with discarded components, experimenting and learning through trial and error. One of his earliest achievements was a makeshift radio transmitter that successfully broadcasted over a limited range, proving his ability to conceptualize and build functional devices. As a teenager, he designed the digital navigation system, a turbine engine, and a series of other innovations that left those around him in awe. His passion eventually led him to establish SAFE Technologies, a Zimbabwean company dedicated to pioneering green energy solutions. The company's portfolio boasts a range of ambitious products, including the Greener Power Machine, a fuel-less generator that purportedly converts radio frequency energy into electricity, alongside self-powered electric vehicles, drones, and self-sustaining televisions. The mission of SAFE Technologies is clear, 
to push the boundaries of what is possible and challenge conventional energy limitations. Yet, despite these bold strides, Chikambutso continues to face an uphill battle. The biggest obstacle he encounters is the scientific community's reluctance to engage with his ideas, mainly because he lacks formal education or Western training. Many experts argue that the foundational laws of physics make such an invention impossible, but rather than engaging in open-minded exploration, mainstream institutions appear to have dismissed his work outright. Another major challenge is visibility. Although he has demonstrated his technology to the Zimbabwean government and local media, his work has yet to be subjected to independent global scrutiny. Without widespread validation, skepticism will persist, regardless of how revolutionary the claims may be. But should skepticism alone be enough to stifle innovation? Many of history's greatest breakthroughs were initially ridiculed before being accepted. The Wright brothers were mocked when they claimed that human flight was possible. The notion of harnessing nuclear energy was dismissed until it became one of the most powerful forces on Earth. Time and again, paradigm-shifting discoveries have been met with doubt before ultimately proving their worth. Could Chikambutso's technology be another such example? If validated and commercialized, this technology has the potential to disrupt the very fabric of global energy and transportation systems. The ramifications are immense. The need for gasoline-powered engines would be eliminated, reducing reliance on oil-rich nations and diminishing the geopolitical influence that comes with controlling energy resources. The automotive industry, as we know it, would be forced to evolve. Climate change, one of the most pressing crises of our time, could be significantly mitigated through a drastic reduction in carbon emissions. Moreover, Africa, a continent often at the mercy of foreign technological dominance could find itself at the forefront of a new industrial revolution. The economic implications of successfully developing and controlling this technology could elevate Africa's position on the global stage. Indeed, it has the potential to revolutionize Africa's energy landscape by providing a sustainable and cost-effective solution to the continent's power challenges. By harnessing radio frequencies to generate electricity, this innovation could eliminate reliance on expensive fossil fuels and unreliable grid systems, bringing power to remote and underserved areas. Self-powering vehicles, homes, and industries could drastically reduce energy costs, accelerate industrialization, and create new economic opportunities. Additionally, Africa could position itself as a global leader in clean energy technology, reducing dependence on Western energy solutions while addressing climate change through carbon-free power generation. However, without strategic investment and protection, there is a real risk that such a technology, if proven viable, could be bought out, suppressed, or monopolized by entities with vested interests in maintaining the status quo. That is why the responsibility to champion this innovation falls upon Africa itself. African universities, research institutions, and investors must take the lead in assessing, refining, and implementing this technology rather than waiting for external validation. Instead of looking to Western scientific institutions, many of which have economic incentives to resist such disruption, African experts must conduct independent, peer-reviewed studies to verify the legitimacy of this breakthrough. Governments must step in to provide the necessary funding for large-scale testing and commercialization, ensuring that Africa does not merely remain a consumer of foreign technologies, but a leader in transformative energy solutions. If Maxwell Chikambuso's invention is indeed what he claims it to be, then it represents an unprecedented opportunity to redefine humanity's relationship with energy. The world has often been reluctant to embrace radical change, but history has shown that progress is inevitable. Whether this technology will usher in a new era of limitless, sustainable power or be cast aside remains to be seen. But one thing is clear, if Africa does not support its own visionaries, no one else will. The time to act is now. Your perspective matters. What do you make of Maxwell Chikambutso finally bringing proof of his microsonic energy device which can disrupt the global energy industry. Share your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the New Africa Well and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our informative future videos.
stay informed, stay engaged, and thank you for watching.